Um, our internet, I think both of our internet is a little bit um, spotty right now. So we hope that this works. But I wanted to, um, you guys um, I'll probably know Bridget. You see her around the studio. She's a studio assistant and she started in our student leadership program as a um, class assistant. And then she graduated when she turned 15 to a studio assistant. So we wanted to make sure that we kept her involved during um, this quarantine time. And she kind of started to take over our wingmen for dance. Um, coordination the last few months. So I thought this would be a perfect time to incorporate another wingman activity since we've been trying to do it um, once every month or every other month or two. And we thought DDA Spirit Week was a good time to do that because um, one of the current wingmen for dance activities really um, correlates well with studio spirit. So um, in the next few days, hopefully in the next few days, but uh, maybe um, the next week, we are working on something at the studio to decorate our windows. And it is something special for all of our dancers. So we'll let you know when that's done. And what Bridget is going to talk about is a wingman for dance activity that we are looking for your help to also decorate the windows. So Bridget's going to explain that. So Bridget, let's start with the graffiti wall. All right. So for the graffiti wall, what you're going to do is you're just going to take a piece of paper and then you can use anything you want, pens, colored pencils, markers or crayons um, to decorate your own graffiti wall with dance quotes or pictures or anything you want to really just express what dance means to you. So I made one myself. Not sure if you can see it that well, but I put dance right across the middle and then like inside each letter of dance there's a different style of dance um and then I have hearts because I love dance so much and then there's just some quotes um as to like why I love dancing so I dance to be me um dance to express not to impress and then don't be afraid to make mistakes because it means you're trying love it so you guys can, um, kids, parents too, siblings if you want. Um, so you just take like an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. It doesn't matter what color it, it is. doesn't matter what you write on it. Um, and then you can, we were thinking, drop it in the mail slot on the front door at the studio. Um, and we're going back and forth about emailing them because we know some people might not want to go out as some of you are really trying to stay inside or stay at home. So I, we were thinking you could scan it. So whatever your dancer creates, maybe you could scan it and email it and then we can print it. I'm not sure how well that would work, but we're totally open to you doing that. So if you want to do that, that's an option too. So we're really excited to see what you guys create. Um, and let's, have the deadline be so let's have them by Sunday so Sunday May what is that May 3rd you can have those to us and then our second we have another wingman for dance activity and was this April's yes is that what this one was okay so this was an April wingman for dance activity and this is totally separate from the graffiti wall but we thought this was another good tie-in for this week so we'll do this um, this week and next week, and I'll let Bridget explain that one too. All right, so for this activity, um, your dancers can get groups of your family members, if they have siblings or your parents, um, to create a dance that is focused on friendship and kindness. So basically, the dancer gets to be the teacher for the day and choreograph their own dance, and then you guys can take a video of the dance with some music in the background and send them to Miss Jenny. So I think we'll have you post them on our Facebook page. That'll probably be the easiest. So in a few days, um, I don't know, I guess I should do that by tomorrow, actually, because we're putting this video out. So we'll put a little image or something um, on our Facebook page. We'll pin that to the top. And then you guys can post your videos below that. If it doesn't work to post a video in the comments, you can, an easy way to do it is upload it to YouTube and then post the YouTube link. And if that doesn't work, you can um, 
send it through Facebook Messenger. Don't email because videos are usually grainy when you try to email or text them. And we think that'll be fun too. We think that'll be good for the kids to kind of change roles and be the teacher. So that will be entertaining, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, what else? Did we forget anything? Um, there is a prize for the best dance. Oh, yes. Yes. So for the friendship dance, friendship activity, we'll call it, um, one winner will receive a DDA prize pack. And I think the judge will be Bridget. Oh, gosh. <laughs> she didn't know that. I just, I, just, I just decided that just the second. Usually we like to do the random name pickers, but I think something like that are really gonna well have Bridget. Um, just really pick one that we feel stands out, maybe the most creative. Okay. So we will do that this week and next week. So get your graffiti wall um, submissions in by Sunday. And then the friendship dance, we'll do that the next two weeks. So we'll say by next Saturday. But We'll email and post reminders about the date and everything. Um, and it was good to see Bridget and incorporate her in something while we are um, virtual. <laughs> so if we think of anything else, we will let you know. But hopefully we covered it all. We're excited to decorate the windows. Sorry, I forgot to turn my phone off. Um, and I've been wanting to do this for a few weeks and I just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> so thanks to help from all the amazing people in my circle, we will be doing that. So thank you, Bridget. It was good to see you. You too. All right, and we will get um, the info posted for everybody. Thank you.